Fine. So in our previous session, we have seen that the draw tools and the modification tools. And today we will see a important topic that is called dimension. Why dimension is so important is uh, if you want to create a parametrically controlled geometry, you need to obviously create a dimension to make it as a uh, fully defined sketch. Okay. So right now uh, in the sketch, you have a sketch over here. So it is in a green color. So that means this sketch is an undefined sketch because uh, why? Because we don't mark any dimension for the sketches. Uh, all we need is you need to make a dimension and change the shapes to make it as a constrained one. So before I enter into the tools, I need to clear the previous sketches. So just select the sketch and say right click and delete. The sketch entities will be deleted after that click on look at and say uh, select the plane and say new sketch a new sketch where entities will be created and go to sketching you have an options so let us start from a rectangle uh, so i have a rectangle okay fine so what i will do is i need to uh, dimension this length so right now there is no length over here so go to dimension option so we have a uh, varieties of options so before enter into that general option let us see about horizontal and vertical and length option so what is that horizontal the horizontal dimension will only measures the horizontal distance so whenever so if i say a vertical line so it it, it cannot uh, measure the vertical distance so if i say horizontal so horizontal this horizontal length or else you can say uh, escape so from this point to this point so it can create a horizontal dimension and if you want to measure the vertical dimension so just go to vertical and select the two points this point and this point you can measure a vertical dimension of a particular line segment okay so <clears throat> Apart from that, uh, you have an option called length. So you need to uh, measure the length. So how much length it actually? So this detail in this detailed view, you can detailly see the uh, dimension values. If you want to change the length, so I want to change the length from 69 point something to 50. Yeah, I can change the length and uh, some more 40. Okay, and I want to change the breadth. So 50 to 30. So that is also possible. Now it is uh, the entire value will be updated over here. And, and the next option is length. So whenever I have a tilted option, so a line. Okay, so I have a slanting line. So when you, in this condition, you can you cannot use the horizontal option. So if I use a horizontal option, how the length actually measures will be. So this is my first point and this is my first point my horizontal distance only measured so if i use a vertical option so from this point to this point so only vertical options will be measured okay so if i mesh if you want to measure the length of this option so either i don't need this uh, okay this option i can delete this option and uh, if you want to measure the length so you can directly go to the length option and say this is my first point and this is my second point and you can measure the length see now the l5 length will be created so if you want to change the length so it is 38.74 uh, i need to make it as a 40 so that length will be changed as a 40 and this length h3 will be 35 so i can change it as a 35 option fine now my sketch dimensions will be so either you can use a horizontal dimensions or vertical dimension or else you can use a length and distance option fine the next option is radius whenever you have a curved surface or fillers or radius uh, you can measure this uh, using this radius option okay so i can draw a circle over here circle from here to here fine i want to measure this uh, radius of the circle go to dimension radius option so this is my circle okay so my all six radius will be created so that radius will be 22 point something so i want to make it as a 20 so just give the value as a 20 now it is turned into a uh, 20 mm okay so if you want to measure the diameter value so all i need is i just uh, right click and delete the particular radius value 
and again uh, give the diameter okay right click and say delete okay uh, diameter now the diameter of the circle will be created so now the diameter is 40 mm since i have given a radius of 20 mm so that's why it is shows me a 40 mm as a diameter fine what is this angle means so if you want to measure an angle so you can use angle option so for that i need a line so line option my starting point is this i have a, a line over here so i want to measure this angle between this line and this line so go to dimension and say angle so this is my first line and this is my second line and angle will be uh, measured and uh, I8 will be a uh, 388 or uh, 338 something so if you want to change the angle you can use so this is an exterior angle so if you want an interior angle so that is also possible so all you need is I need a 320 so now the angle will be uh, changed okay fine mm, the last option is semi-automatic so before enter into that semi-automatic how to make a sketch as a uh, fully defined one so for that uh, what i will do is i just go to uh, select the whole sketch and say delete after that uh, i can draw a rectangle over here and say look at okay so a rectangle will be created so now this rectangle is in a green color so if i want to make it as a blue color so a blue color means that sketch is uh, converted into a uh, fully defined sketch go to dimension and say vertical or horizontal whatever it is okay uh, uh, before that uh, i will say that what is the general means a general is a smart dimension so which includes all the dimensions all the different types you have so whether it may be uh, it can measure horizontal vertical length and radius diameter it depends upon the geometrical shape it can measure the uh, its uh, dimensional properties so in the most of the cases we only use the general option itself so by using the general option i can uh, dimension this rectangle so this is my first vertical length this is my horizontal length and from okay 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 so what it actually uh, shows is why the dimension is in the red color it's a why the dimension is in the red color means uh, because it is over defined so uh, I have given the vertical dimension in the uh, two times okay so that is why it shows as a uh, uh, warning message in the red color so either you have a two options uh, one is you need to delete this option or you need to delete this dimension so either I can delete this dimension okay now it is turned into a green color fine and uh, general so from here to here how much it actually so now this two lines will be converted into a blue color so that is means uh, it is partially defined so if i add one more dimension it will be converted as a fully defined sketch so from here to here okay fine so the, now the sketch will be converted as a fully defined sketch okay so why because i have marked all the dimension uh, to uh, mark as a fully defined one fine so if you have so it's a simple case i can easily uh, dimension into a fully defined one so if you have a complicated sketch how can i uh, mark as a fully defined one uh, for example uh, i have a rectangle over here and here here and uh, one slot and one circle okay one circle over here so if i want to make the all the sketches as a fully defined one for that i have an uh, semi automatic uh, dimension tool so if i click the semi automatic dimension tool so when i enter into that uh, sketch mode it automatically uh, prompts me to dimension the sketches which is not marked as a dimension before so see it shows me that radius of that uh, circle so all i need is just click the left click button so continuously so one two three four five six seven so it is uh marking the entire dimension which is a semi-automatic one 
so if you want to change the dimension values you can obviously change us so this process will be uh, continuous until the sketch will be completely fully defined so now the all the sketches will be completely fully defined see all the sketches over here over here will be uh, converted into a blue color sketches so this is this lines are called the dimension lines so if you want to change you can change from the detailed views so if you select that particular line so that line segment will be uh, shown over here so if you want to change the length you can change the length from here itself also fine so hope you will understand that uh, what is the semi-automatic method means and uh, we have another one more options called uh, edit so before that i undo that uh, entire session before so what i will do is i just go to plans and right click and say delete so these options will be deleted and uh, say new sketch go to here draw a rectangle and dimension general so one and two so a dimension will be created so after that i want to edit so go to edit so just select this dimension you want to edit so now a detailed view will be created so here you can edit the value so for example 20 you can edit so if you want to edit this value go to this and say 35 okay right fine now the dimensions will be entered so if you want to move this dimension you have an option called move and you select the entities so you can move the dimension as per your view so if you don't have enough space over there you can move the dimension so whatever the place you can need it right so by using the move option you can move the dimensions and another interesting option is uh, animation so why does animation as a means so how can i draw that sketch so or else uh, if i import a previous uh, another sketch from an another environment or previously drawn one how it actually uh, drawn so i can use the animation option so right now the cycle is three so if i say this dimension see a three times animation will be created because why because i have drawn this uh, rectangle by using uh, from here to here and if i animate this you can clearly say how it actually drawn right so from this point i have uh, drawn the rectangle so from here to here i have drawn a rectangle so by using this animation i can easily guess that how it actually drawn so if you want to reduce the uh, animation cycle you can reduce from here and uh, you have another option called display so right now uh, the only uh, display option is name so it only displays the name of the dimension so for example horizontal 35 vertical 34 uh, if you want to uh, display the values you can check the value now the both the values and the names will be displayed if you don't want the name you can uncheck the name only the dimension values will be displayed or else uh, you can use the names uh, whatever the options you need you just uh, check and uncheck the options over here right so that is all the uh, tools which all take places in the dimension hope you will understand the entire tools and uh, if you like the video please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel so see you on next video